pass rush, shall we? Okay. Let's just go through the game. So from this angle, let's look at the coverage. How soft is it? Look at the corners, number two and number seven. Boom, boom, like almost 10 yards off the ball. So yeah, they're conceding quick throws on first down. Let's look at it from the end zone. What are they doing? Four-man rush. Everyone in their rush lanes, Nick Bosa rushing straight into the chest of the uh, offensive tackle. Going to the inside, really no time to get a pass rush. Third and two. Let's see what we get here. Man to man coverage again. With Ambry Thomas in the slot. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's Isaiah Oliver. You got these two guys way off the ball. You know, maybe that was holding on Dre Greenlaw or not, but let's. Let's look at it from this angle. Let's look at Bosa. This is third and two. What do you, What is Wilkes calling here? What is it? You got Bosa next to Armstead. Armstead's in the A gap. You got Hargrave way out here in the B gap. Okay, you got a four-man rush. Trying to keep him in the pocket so you're not rushing upfield. It's a controlled rush. Try not to let him scramble on you. Just, I mean, everyone stays in their rush lanes well. Nick Bosa gives, everyone gives good effort. Um, there's just not a lot of create. I mean, there's no creativity going on here. It's a straight four-man rush on third and two. Um, did they get some pressure? Yeah, a little bit. So the pressure is, it, it affects the throw, right? They're pretty much settling for, you know, we don't need the sack. Let's just get some pressure and force a quick throw. It worked there. Okay, next series. Man-to-man -man coverage. Play action. Let's look at it from this side. What's Bosa doing? He gets chipped. Now he's double teamed. So it's not... If you want to know why Bosa isn't getting sacks, like, he's getting a lot of attention, but Arm says one-on-one. -on -one. Hargrave's got a double team, and uh, 94 is getting knocked on his butt. Ball comes out quick again, too. There's re that's really no opportunity for Nick Bosa to get a sack here. Again, watch. He's going to get chipped by 86. He's going to get double team. Or Nate. Okay, here's a great. What, what is Steve Wilkes? Okay, look at this. Look at this. So he's got man to man coverage. And it gets beaten by a nice man-to-man -man coverage beater, that, that uh, crossing concept. So let's see what the pressure package is here. Okay. You got a five-man rush. Green law isn't rushing. You got 54 and 97 doing a little bit of a twist, right? 54 comes in, 97 comes around. Takes a little too long. But it works. It's just that Isaiah Oliver gets beat across the field. That's a tough... That's a tough one. He's not as fast as Marquise Brown. He's always going to lose that race. But, I mean, how creative do you think this pressure is? You got Armstead in the A-gap, rushing straight. You got Hargrave rushing straight. Jackson rushing straight. A little game on the left. I don't know. It's okay. Got a little pressure. But <clears throat> there's not a lot going on here. 91 goes from this gap to this gap. Okay. And he tries to go back the other way. I mean, these are supposed to be really got good players who can win one-on-one, -on -one, but I'd also like to see the defensive coordinator like show a little creativity on third and eight. This is your time to, to like, you know, get inside your bag and show everyone how creative you are. And like, that's just, it's all right. And I got third and eight again. All right, let's see what you got, Steve. You got Bosa out there. You got Warner showing like he's blitzing. You got Isaiah Oliver potentially blitzing, but you rush four. And you get a little check down, you get off the field. Let's see what this looks like. This is nice. This is nice. So you got Bosa next to Armstead on the left, Fred Warren in the middle, Hargrave and Drake Jackson. And is that a is that a gun? Is that a stunt they run or he's does Jackson just get pushed in there? Yeah, I think it's a little stunt. It, it doesn't quite work. So he's trying. 
there's really nothing that but we're, we're focused on bosa like you, you got to free up bosa and what's going to happen to bosa you know he's going to get chipped by this guy right there you chip him right into the offensive tackle uh who has longer arms than bosa and then bosa you know he could force some pressure but it seems to me steve wilk's job is to sort of get him away from this guy like if you know this if you know this trip is coming how about have bosa swing to the inside and have him do a little stunt with Armstead as opposed to Drake Jackson. And I mean, don't you want to be focusing on Bosa, and not Drake Jackson here? Should he be drawing up the the game for for Bosa? I'm just saying. Oh, the coach is here. Hey, look who it is. Yo, coach. What's going on, man? Hey, man, you been watching? I've been here. All right, man. So let's 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 just go through the film. We're on third. This is third down. Tell me what you think of this pressure package. You got Drake Jackson coming through. They pick it up well. 34 and 65. 72. Javon Hargrave does a good job of getting skinny. Yep. Attacking right the soft arm. It's yep. just attacking the soft shoulder of the play side guard. And just running it down. I mean, that's, that's solid work for a four-man front. You know, no they're, doubt. Not, they're not bringing anybody. Uh, and Drake actually cut, gets pushed in. If you go back, yep. Drake gets chipped. Yep. Go, oh, go ahead. He go does back. get pushed. He does get chipped. Yeah. Drake gets chipped. Yep. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know that, that defenses are going to do this stuff to the Niners on third down. Um, it happened to Nick Bosa in Tennessee a couple years ago. Remember that? They did a lot of max protect with chipping with tight ends and Niners lost that game. So there are ways you can beat those. I like the stunts. Yeah, and he has been calling like... some of those. Third and four. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I'm not looking at the run plays. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. So that's a, I mean, four man, it's a four man rush with what's the coverage behind it? Man to man for sure. Yeah, they're running. All right. In. Let's look at what it looks like from the end zone. We got Bosa and Armstead next to each other. Hargrave right, way is... out here. Mm -hmm. And it's a straight, it's a straight four man pass rush. They do a good job right, of not so giving up the, the scramble lanes for sure. So to get so to get off of all of all four linemen was all four defense alignment was amazing. Um, Eric Armstead comes through with a nice side swipe. Um, Nick comes yeah. up wide, automatically engages and gets in and starts to try to squeeze the pocket. Tackle's job in pass protection is to protect the width of the pocket, right? Mm -hmm. So conversely, DN's jobs is to squeeze the width of the pocket, right? Yeah. They want to collapse the pocket. So this ball is out very quickly. Right. And as far as defenses is concerned for what you want from the defensive line, this is as good as it gets. They're still containing rush lanes and putting pressure on the quarterback. I mean, run it. You can't scramble out of there. Josh Dobbs takes literally three steps. One, two, three. And the ball's gone. Right. We can't teleport there. So, you know, that's as good as it gets. Penalty on uh, Traverius. Let's see what he does in man coverage. Bit. He got a there bit. a little too soon. And I, 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 what I'm seeing is good effort from Bosa, good effort from Hargrave, good effort from Armstead. Um, very vanilla calls. Well, and I mean, I would, but this I, is I, I, this, yeah. okay. So this is a matchups league, right? Yeah. From top to bottom, even in the trenches, and. Really, what you want to do is you want to be able to eliminate double teams. You want to get one-on-ones because we have literal guys at every position. I mean, we got a high draft pick at the end. We got our number one free agency pick at the three tech. Then we got our veteran Oak at uh, Eric Armstead. And then we have class personified at Nick Bosa, right? So you don't want to get mm -hmm. caught reinventing the wheel a lot of a lot of these exotic stunts and stuff is by way of lack of talent at the position and you just got to put in a little bit more calculus to get 
to where you need to go. But when you're looking at these four down linemen, if you're able to generate pass rush with four, that's an advantage. But that's they're not advantage. right now. They're 28th in the league. And I just feel like, like, look at this rep right here. You got Nick Bosa jumping to the inside. Like, why don't you make that an actual TE stunt with him and Armstead? Like, I'd love to see that. I feel like that would keep be deadly. Playing, keep playing it. You know what I'm saying? That is a stunt, though. Our Armstead gets out. That's the stunt, but the ball's gone before he gets there. Look, I don't want to see now. Armstead loop around to the outside. I want to see the opposite. I want to see Armstead come down and see Bosa loop around to the inside. Yeah, but like then what happens them. if they run the ball, though? And you got Nick but, Bosa. You got Eric Armstead running out in space instead of Nick Bosa. That's true. I, I mean, and this is second down. I'm talking on third down. I'd like to see that. I'd like to okay. see it one time. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying fire Steve Wilkes. He's doing a great job. I'm trying right. to help. I'm, yeah, I'm trying I to be, I'm gonna brainstorm because I've yeah, been hired as quality, quality control. control. And, and yeah, this is it's a it's a big responsibility, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so second and twenty, you get a quarterback hit and an incomplete pass. Let's see what we got. I mean, that it, looked like a good that looked like a good finish by uh, Eric Armstead. Let's see what we got right yep. here. Yeah, I mean, this is what the Niners pay for right here. Nothing fancy. Just stay in your rush lane. That that what yep. you mean? Nothing fancy. Lord Jesus. Thematically. <laughs> schematically like dude oh yeah the inside move this is the thing that wasn't even his first that was a setup to the second move if you see he goes inside first then he long arms him gets yep. inside of his frame and then he just takes him for the ride man we're off to oh. see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, because, 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 because of the wonderful thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it, it's done. yeah, go back to that yeah. rep, see Nick. 76, dude. How does it feel? Oh, you know you're screwed right now. I think I'm just going down. Even Nick, Ooh. look at Nick. Nick's ripping. He's low. He's getting to his point, his area. His uh, thing about it is that the, the D linemen, they have visual keys and they have pressure keys, right? Yeah. Your visual key is where you feel like the ball is going, right? And your pressure key is the closest dangerous man that's going to affect you, right? So yeah. when, you're, when you're looking at those keys and you're trying to ascertain whether or not it's going to be run versus pass, you got to stay – you got to stay stout and have some responsibilities. Now, like right here, Nick got a little over leveraged on this one right there. He cut 20. In. You got mm -hmm. three over here and you got both over here. What do you see? Running back? Yeah. We got – all right, so Drake Jackson is bladed on the center in like a, a yeah. like a, like a half cock like one a, a one yeah. slash two eye. Um, yeah, yeah. And then, he, and then he loops around to the other A gap. Yeah. Yeah. Bosa takes the inside track. What I'd like to see just too trying is to like cause a conflict. Down. We're trying to cause a, a, a conflict to the switch over on the play side where the running back is. Well, not the back side, honestly, because the, the strong side is where the tight end is. I don't know if that's the tight end right there, uh, detached. But go ahead. I'm just saying, I think it would be cool to see Bosa on the three-person side and, and like do something with him. You could have him in the A gap. You could have him in the B gap. You could have him over here and you could loop him. I mean, I think there's so many more things you could do with him than say, but I'm going to put him out okay. I, I feel that, right? So let's That's just point, right? Let's just say yeah. this is a picture, right? Yeah. If this is a picture and we're looking at strength on strength, right? And and your mm -hmm. strongest players are 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 red and your weakest players are like whatever, purple, whatever. So yeah. you got Eric Armstead, Dre you got Eric Armstead, Javon Hargraves, and Fred Warner on the left side of the field, right? I'm let's just yeah. dumb it down, right? Yeah. That's strength. Over there, yep. you got Drake yep. Jackson still being protected by Fred Warner over the top with yeah. Fred with uh Dre Greenlaw over there uh, yeah. in the gap with Gapper. That's solid, that's sound. You don't want to put a slower, less agile player at that nine technique, right? Like, that's not even like a nine, it's like a seven, but you don't want to put in, you don't want to put like Eric Armstead over there by himself. That's like leaving him out there in conflict. Like you want somebody athletic enough to be able to be able to get a boot. If there's a screen that goes over there, if there's a draw, like, you know, even on draw plays like this, right? The rules of the defensive line, 
it's you would mostly think that you know the interior guys they have to retrace but no they have to shut down run lanes right you want your you want your most agile guys on the outside so they can retrace on like screens or like plaster coverage. yeah but hold on coach like you're trying to like this dude has one sack in four games you're trying as a coordinator to get him a one-on-one and you're sacrificing him here i mean he's going against 74 63 could help 31 could help like mm-hmm. you're basically saying all right we already know you're going to spend all your attention on nick bosa so go ahead and triple team him and we'll get one-on-ones for our other guys it's like mm-hmm. cool i like that but like instead of just sacrificing bosa why can't you get a, a bosa a good look yeah, I understand getting him a good look. Like, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he's making $34 million a year. Like, he can get his own <laughs> Make, look. Get your own you know good look, mean? baby. I feel he that. can get his All own right, look. Let's see what we got here. Fourth and seven. Here's a, here's a good time. Let's see what Wilkes wants to do on fourth and seven. It's a man-to-man coverage. It's a four-man rush. See, he's not doing too much. He's like, look, I got I got $100 million in this D-line. I'm not doing too much. Well, also, let's see how this guy, yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let run it. Yeah, run no, it, go right. ahead. Let's, let's see if from the, yeah, let's see from here. It's let's gonna be a scramble it. for a first down. So what's gonna happen? Hargrave is gonna take the outside. Are they trying to do some? Whoa, whoa! What is that? Javon, they are. That. I guess just pushed upfield. Yeah, he got washed up. Washed up, and look where Drake Jackson is. Look at how far upfield Drake Jackson is. Yeah, that's 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 I mean, not on Bosa. Like that's on. Yeah, dude. but but that, but go but but run that back like. Oh, Connor knocked him out of the club. Whoa. Washed up. And then, boom, that's an easy first down. But this is what you're afraid of, you know? Um, That's true. Maybe that's why you're not calling those stunts against a a quarterback who can scramble. I totally feel you. And then on top of it, the, the... I understand that, like, the best names are on this defensive line, but... The actual premise of the wide nine defense is to create natural hard edges with those nine techniques, right? So yep, yep, we're yep. really we put a lot of onus into having the best D line, right? And and mm-hmm. that's what the the narrative is of our defense. But if you really look at it, Grant, schematically, this defense is for the linebackers. This defense is, yeah, it is. predicated so they can keep everything on the inside, take on double teams, keep their hips in alleys, and be able to free up Fred and Dre to roam and attack and get downhill. And oh, you see what I'm seeing here? You see what I'm seeing here? Looking for Yeah, he fell. I mean, he's open. And, you know, Dobbs is looking over here somewhere. But that was a potential chunk play the Niners could have given up. Let's see what they do with their backup D-line. Not a lot. Just a straight rush. Watch them. Maybe down. that was the game plan against a mobile quarterback. I understand that. And let's look at this third and seven right here, though. Let's look at this is third and seven. What do you like about what are you seeing from this call from Steve Wilkes? You got Bose over here next to Armstead. You got Fred Warner in the A gap. You got Drake Jackson standing up next to him. This is kind of cool, actually. I like this front. I haven't seen anything like a uh, Dre Green on the line. You got Javon Hargrave at uh, Javon Hargrave at D end. I mean, this is cool. Five. Yeah. So it's basically a stress on 50 protection. They bring five and again, they get a they're, switch they're, from they're, the they're, He's playing with Drake Jackson. That's the twi- the twist is between uh Jackson and, and uh Fred Warner. That's the twist. That's cool. That's nah, cool. nah, 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 nah. The twist is between Javon Hargrave and Fred Warner. So Fred Look Warner goes all the way around, right? Look at the pin by Javon Hargrave. Yep. And again, I think that's more to contain him, right? Like, get a guy on the outside. Like, he knows Fred's coming. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, what I would say as quality control that makes, you know, that's really respected is it's cool. I like this design, Steve. I, I would like to see you get Nick Bosa involved in these games a little bit. But this is cool. I like having Drake Jackson. He's really into, into doing games with Drake Jackson. Fred Warner, Javon Hargrave. Okay. It just doesn't get there quick enough. That's that does get there. Push. Look at that push Bosa. by uh, Look Eric Bosa. Armstead. Uh-huh. And Bosa. Look at those two on, the, on that side. Gets under him. Both gets them. rooted Both all the them. way from his lats. Look how he just yeah. runs the circle too, Nick. Yeah. I mean, he's damn near parallel with the turf by the time he even gets contact. And by the time he gets contact, what's that? Ooh. Fourth step. He gets to yep. his area point, which is like four yards behind the tackle, and starts squeezing right away. I mean, Nick is a technician, man. Like he makes it no look doubt. so easy. 
no doubt. Right. Boom, and he's not rushing past the quarterback and giving up the the rush lane like that. He's they're cutting really, off the I, edge. Yeah, and I like this. It's like it, instead of selling out to get the sack, like rush five and take away all the scramble lanes and force him to be a quarterback. And tip is tip your cap. He makes a nice throw and converts like, the first down. It, you know what's special about this is like, okay, so run that back, right? And if that's if that's Trent Williams, right? Most guys who try to do that against Trent Williams, just keep it right there. Trent Williams is fast enough to pop his hips back and his feet and pull the chair and let Nick fall on his face. But look how fast Nick is coming at where the point where Humphreys can't do anything but just absorb him. Go ahead, play it. He just has to absorb him. He can't do anything with it. But those are yeah. those plays where when we see Trent pop out, like it's it's very uh very talented, man. It's it's it, yep. you don't really notice it until you see somebody else try to do it. But like you see again, you know, the, this four man rush, like they're getting pressure, but look at the coverage. Like you, you, Wilkes is calling bail cover four certainly cover quarters and the ball's coming out quick like teams aren't stupid they're not gonna hang around mm -hmm. they know they gotta get the ball out quick and i think wilkes is cool with that Wil wilkes wants this he knows you're scared of his pass rush he's not gonna beat himself taking risks he's gonna he's, he's gonna nine. make you check it down nick isn't coming from that nine tech uh. javon got stymied but he still fought got a hand up yep I really feel like Eric Nick's Armstead sacrificing his – I feel like Nick is making a a conscious decision to sacrifice his, his sack production because he's not rushing around the outside. Like he's rushing right into him so he can't scramble. Like That's discipline. He's never going past the quarterback, and neither is Drake Jackson. That's how you give scramble lanes. So that's good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's week five. And right now, I'm pretty sure that they got a lot mixed up. And this, quite frankly, probably some stuff that Nick hasn't done yet with them. He just got here. Um, Another good point. Watch how Nick responds on stuff. that cut. Gets cut. Ooh. Pops right up. Look at that shit. Yeah. Yep. That's nice. Here we go. So this is third and five. Okay. Money down. Let's see. What, and you see an exotic front from Steve Wilkes. He's trying to show you something cool. Man coverage across the board. They could be bringing everyone. Who jumped in? Eric Armstead? Was that? Damn, that get off was so crazy. He looked like he jumped off sides. Ooh, yeah. Look at Armstead. Ooh. And see, this is why you do this, right? Because you get, is that Javon? Is that Javon um, Kinlaw? Yeah. Like, this is why you do this. You, you, you run this five man. I think that's a five man pressure. Yeah, it is. You got no. It's six, one, two, three, four, six. five, six, six man pressure. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah they kept in the back. So it's 60, 60 pressure and Javon's getting there. You can tell that Javon is still trying to find his fastball. Like his fastball is like every D lineman's like go to move, right? Yeah. And you see, he's trying to come in with hands, trying to get, try to play half man, get him leaning either way. Um, but still goes straight, uh, has still like a speed to power move. I mean, like, it's not necessarily that Steve Wilkes is wrong. Like, his mm -hmm. defense is great. He's given up 14 points per game. But if you're wondering, like, where is the pass rush? It's like a conscious decision. Like, I'm not going to mm -hmm. do anything too. I'm not going to rush five or six too much. I'm not going to do a bunch. Of, I'm not going to get my guys out of their gaps. I'm just going to constrict, provide pressure, now, and force nice the check move. down, and, and we'll outscore them. Oh. So Javon Javon gives a nice fucking swim move that he gets on Javon Kinlaw. Nice, but he's got a fight to get down. He gets cleaned up by James Conner, but that's a nice move. Like Javon's coming along, man. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, that's nice. Third and two. All right, see what we got. They rush four. Incomplete pass. They don't even have Bose on the field right now. Nope. This is going to be that long drive, huh? Mm, that's a nice long arm by Kevin Givens. Whoop. Yeah, it is. Mm. 
Who's that? Okay. Who's number 92 again? I feel so bad that I don't know his name. Hyder. Hyder, Hyder sorry. Our de- our just keep it off. real simple on defense. They keep it real simple on defense. They're not they got doing the best a whole linebacker lot. in core on planet Earth, man. It's yeah, like and they're giving they up fourteen points a game. Their, yeah, they need to just do their jobs. You know what I'm saying? That was a nice secondary move by Javon Kinlaw. He comes in, goes outside, gets him high, washes back under, rips under, uh, yeah, swims over. Yep, they give up the scramble as Kerry Hyder jumps to the inside and. Kevin Givens doesn't really replace him. Yeah, but watch Kevin Hibbins scrape. Watch him get on his horse. He's on his horse, though. He can run. He's on his horse. He's working. Yeah. He's working. Yeah. Here we go. First and 10. In the rush. Quarterback hit. Let's see who gets him. Hyder in a D tackle. Nope, that's Javon. This is the starters. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude. Yeah, Bosa still got it. Watch Bosa. Oh. Look at this rip. Look at this rip. Uh-huh. Like, and then the outside foot synchronized with the inside shoulder dipping at the same oh. time. I mean, that's tons of reps in order to get it that way. Here. Huh. Uh. Rip. Run in the circle. That's as good as it gets. It's and he he has time to get there because Hargrave has that one on one. He gets his one on one, and knocks his guy back into the quarterback's lap. Yeah, he's working with independent hands. Third and two, third and two. Both on the bottom, bunch left, Ooh, and that's again. And he see see see. This is what I'm talking side. about. It's exactly what I'm talking about. So. It's third and two. You know the chip mm-hmm. is coming. He's right next to the tight end. It comes, but they do run a, a, a stunt. They definitely run a stunt. They could have executed it before he got smacked, um, right, but they so both kind of fall down. Chipped. Not Javon falls. Go ahead. Yeah. Nick gets chipped. Javon falls. Oh. Nick gets through and almost hits his arm. I like it's it. So, it's so amazing that Eric Armstead gets so much penetration with his height. I know. It's, yeah. It shouldn't be like that. Here's watch Armstead over there against the center. <laughs> but look, luck, his dog. hands are ready, though. This is the one thing that I love about Eric Armstead oh. is because he understands that his biggest weapons are his arms because he's yeah. so tall. So he yeah. always creates space with his arms and his hands first. He's got murderous hands, man. I love his hands. Pause. All right. But <laughs> we're going to take to the end of the half. Um, Okay, what is this? First ten. All right, both on the right. That's just a bull. I mean, they're all being disciplined in their rush lanes to not give up the the uh, the scramble. I, I respect it. I mean, it's important. Okay, well, this is cool. Second and nine. What you got? Because they got they're flowing everything to those linebackers, man. They, they okay. their job is specific. Keep those edges. Push everything inside. This was a scary moment, man. You show this this pressure, but you back out of it, and you give up a long throw to Ambry Thomas' side. Yikes. That's mugged up. That's uh, your boy Mike Zimmer shit right there. That exactly. That double-A pressure. Try to show that double-A, yep, and then you, and you back out, and you got six blocking four. That's wonderful. That's a nice got a little, switch. A nice switch between 99 and 90. Kubosa getting pressure. Almost there. But he uh, better quarterback might have hit that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you also so, you also got to like their aiming points. Like you, uh, like I don't know how Coach Kacerik is teaching this, but like D linemen have aiming points, right? So usually the aiming point is like the V of the neck. You you know, so you go back to that last play and you see these boys. They they they're follow they're they're doing exactly what they're coached to do. Right. Look, the V of the neck. Who's that on that? Who's that on the um outside number ninety two, Hyder? Hyder. Yeah, like hand yeah. bow via the neck. Like yeah, these boys are doing what they're taught to do. Yeah, yeah. So all I'm saying is, with defensive coordinators, I really like and Sal and Demico do this a lot. A lot of times they can uh. create uh matchups where it's like. 
three pass rushers versus two uh, blockers. Like, Mm -hmm. really good D coordinators can create unblocked rushers. I'd like to see some of that from Wilkes. I know that he doesn't need to. And maybe Mm -hmm. he thinks, man, I just got to keep it simple right now. Mm -hmm. But eventually, against a better team, I think you're maybe he's going to have to go deeper in his bag, and I'm sure he will. Okay, Ambry, Ambry, Ambry. Look at it from the... uh, This is man-to-man coverage for Ambry? Yep. Oh, double move. Oh, look at that. That's great. Smashed. You fought this all shoulder. All right, let's watch the uh, end zone. Here's a stunt. Pick it up. Interesting. Look at this. Eric, Eric tried to get skinny and got stuffed. Yeah, he did. Also tried to loop around to the inside and couldn't beat the guard. Not interesting. That's a big boy, but he squared him. Though. Look at look how he stayed square with the line of scrimmage. He goes over yeah. and switches that good. He's he. You'd like to have coming. Hargrave get a, a bigger piece of that guard. Let me see. He, like runs right into the tackle. Like you want to take that guard. The tackle can't yeah. go there. Yeah, that was selfish. <clears throat> you want to be able to you want to be able to push that vertical. Good call, Grant. Yeah, you do. You, you want almost to want to have like him. defensive holding here. Like you want to grab that 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 guard and not let him just get away from you. Engage him. Yeah. Oh, he was able. Yeah. He was. He came off that cleanly. That's why it looks so good. He just tapped yeah. him. Yep. Like hard, Like you got to engage him. But yeah, I mean, right idea from Wilkes. I like that. Uh, you got to get Ambry off the field. Okay, first and ten. Go through the end of the half. Most at the bottom. Zone. It's going to be just straight up quarters. Touchdown. Yikes. Whoa. What happened? So it's quarters, and you have 14. Oof. Interesting. Was that Hafunga's man? Yeah. I think that was on Demo. Was it? No, that's. Is that Demo? No, that's Ambry again, isn't it? No, Demo was wrong. Demo's here on the bottom in the slot. That's slot. That's Ambry. Yeah, that's Demo. Demo's wrong. He's guarding grass. Yes, true. He is wrong. But the the ball goes to 14. Who's yeah, supposed to be Demo covering him? Demo should have pressed up top. He he left Huff. He left Huff. Uh, no, that's Huff that's Ambry, man. That's Ambry. Demo's down here in the slot. Oh, I'm sorry. Down here. The top. Ambry's, that Ambry's at the Ambry's bottom of 10? Yeah, that's Who's Ambry. at the bottom of 10? That's the Ambry. bottom of 10. Ambry. Ambry, Ambry, yeah, Ambry. that's Ambry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because, yeah. because Dre Greenlaw has this guy here. Dre Greenlaw has I'm the sorry. flat. Right? Dre Greenlaw yeah. has the flat. Ambry needs to get back there. And you I'm look sorry. at Talanoa, he's like, dude, what? 